Hello and welcome back. It is Wednesday, so it's time for another Corbal Power BI video, okay? This video is a continuation of the video I did on Monday. I show you how to connect Excel to Power BI service. So you can do the same things that you do in Power BI Desktop in Excel from a model that lives on Power BI service, powerbi.com. So it is really good video. Make sure you check it out uh, because you need that in order to be able to understand this video better, okay? So we left this with the video on Monday where we had created this table. And this table, it is connected to a data set on Power BI. You can see it there, connect to data and Power BI surveys, my workspace, and it's using a connector, um, a, a report. So what can you do with this? Here's the thing. Uh, I've shown you before how you document your Power BI model using DAX Studio. And We've been able to document uh, DAX queries using uh, DAX measures using DAX Studio, but Chris Webb, let me show you, actually found that there is a new um, DMV that appeared in Power BI recently called Discover M Expressions. He tested it in DAX Studio. It does not work in DAX Studio yet, but he says, okay, you can use the Excel trick. Uh, I show you to be able to run that query. So I'm going to show you what that is, and uh, it is super cool. So this is what you need to do to be able to run DMVs from Excel of a model that leaves some Power BI service. <laughs> I'm blowing your mind. Okay, so here it is. You create a table, any table. It doesn't have to have all this stuff. You, this, it is enough that it's just a table. So you can uh, remove this one. You can remove that one to just a table. That is enough. Right click, show details. I'm going to link down below, obviously, to um, Chris Web uh, blog where you can get the uh, DMV selector because he he shows in his blog post here the thing right so he deserves some views so what that does is basically shows you the data behind the calculation and says okay i use this one and this one and this one and we that's not what we care but if we right click in here table edit query we can modify this query and put anything we want he says mdx or dax so we are going to put the expression that he has in his blog, which is this one. Okay. Take a look at this, take a look at this. Format cells, alignment wrap text. And this is the M code for all the tables that are available in that model. It is so, 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 so cool. And it has a live connection to your model. So as long as the model lives in Power BI, you can right click here, click refresh, and the new ones will come. So it is a fantastic way to have proper documentation of your models, where it's actually a live connection to it. You just have, you know, the Excel file, you open it, refresh, and boom, everything shows up. And I show you in a different video how you can document uh, the tables, the um, uh, measures. So let me show you very quickly measures. I'm going to link them below to that video. So you can go and pick all the DMV queries that you want. But just so you can see, if we go back in here, not there, in here, and then we do again, Show it, this is going to open. Uh, hello. Just a glitch in the system. We do that again, it's going to open a, open a new sheet, so we haven't lost the M uh, documentation in there. So here you do exactly the same thing. You do table, edit query, and now we're going to use the uh, query for measures, documenting measures. 
under you have them. So you have measure name, unique name, caption, description. Here you have the actual, you know, um, DAX query, anything and everything that you want. And again, this also is live connected. So you just right click, refresh, and gets you created more. And then you can just create your notes. And I think this is wonderful. What do you think? So make sure you check it out, download it, test it. Let me know in the comment box if you like it or not. And uh, yeah, hope it was useful. I had no idea that this was possible. So this is all for today. I will see you again on Friday with another next Friday. That's useful. So until then, bye bye.